sorry, I had to wade through all these Black Friday deals, but I did find some tech news in there. Also, no, you don't need it. Intel is either on the cusp of launching its next gen art gaming GPUs, codenamed Battle Mage, or it's not, and it just really, really, really looks like it is. Oh, I love a good cusp. Cusp me. Following leaked listings for two variants of the ARC B580 on Amazon, Intel insiders reportedly told website that apparently picked their name in the 90s, Video Cards with a Z, that the B580 and B570 graphics cards will be unveiled this Tuesday, December 3rd, with the actual launch scheduled for December 12th. That news came along with more leaked listings, courtesy of a regular character in these stories, Momomo on Twitter, indicating the B580 will launch at around 250 to 260 USD. It's encouraging news given recent rumors that Intel was getting out of the discrete GPU business. Actually, according to another leaker, Jakin, the company's previously announced Celestial and Druid-based graphics cards are still planned. It's discrete laptop GPUs that Intel's giving up on, and I think we've gone far enough down the leak rabbit hole. Well, what if just no one buys these? Then? If no one buys you, you're not real. <laughs> the Druid. Let's hope these leaks are accurate so we can get the truth next week and stop baselessly speculating about whether Pat Gelsinger wants to be my other dad. He does. Can we just drop it? Australia has passed its controversial social media ban for children under 16 into law, eliciting a range of reactions from fair dinkum to, I don't know, seems a bit dodgy. I'm sorry, Australia. <laughs> Rather than punishing children who manage to get around it, which many are already promising to do, the law compels platforms, including TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and even Reddit, to find some way to block access by minors, which doesn't involve requiring government ID. We'll never figure it out. <laughs> Like maybe instead of a CAPTCHA to log in, it asks you if you're feeling particularly skibbity today. Or asks you to make a pun. Only old people can do it. <laughs> it's one of the most drastic measures taken in the struggle to figure out what to do about these ubiquitous platforms that have been demonstrably proven to be bad for us, except for YouTube and Floatplane. One answer TikTok has come up with is to block the use of beauty filters for kids under 18 in 13 European countries. All the other kids are are done for. It's like euphoria in real life over here. Whenever they look up from their phone and see real people, they just scream. It's so ugly! <laughs> ah! Meta is drawing up plans to spend $10 billion on a more than 40,000 kilometer undersea fiber optic cable stretching around the entire world, insider sources have told TechCrunch. That lines up with an earlier report from marine cable expert Sunil Tagar describing Meta's plans for the mother of all submarine cables. It'll be huge, the most beautiful internet cable you've ever seen, crossing the globe in the shape of a W, which is the wrong presidential reference to make right now, but Meta doesn't care. It would be the first internet infrastructure fully owned and used by the tech giant, which would be a great milestone, as long as it doesn't get severed by a Chinese ship like the commercial hauler currently being detained in international waters on suspicion of cutting internet cables in the Baltic Sea. Meta thinks it'll be fine though. The route was reportedly designed to avoid areas of geopolitical tension, although it touches Straya, where the teens are carrying on like a pork chop. It's so big you can see it from the metaverse. Take care on your own travels with our sponsor, Sailey, the global eSIM service that keeps you connected while traveling. Because what's the point unless you can send pictures to the people back home so they can be like, wow, what a globetrotter. Visiting multiple countries, Sailey's got regional and global plans at affordable prices. So you can download one eSIM for your whole trip. Sure, you could spend time waiting in line at the airport to buy a local SIM card that has some chance of being a scam, but now that I've described it like that, it sounds worse than just using Sailey. Daily, right? Saley eSIM plans are compatible with most iOS and Android devices, and if yours isn't compatible, you'll get a full refund with chat support available 24 seven. Get an exclusive 15% discount on Saley eSIM data plans. Just download the Saley app and use code TechLinked at checkout. Heck of a deal on today's quick bits. They're 80% off, which means they're even more free than usual. The FTC has publicly wagged a finger at companies failing to disclose how long they'll offer official support for their products, saying that in many cases, such non-disclosure may be illegal under the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act. 
The move indicates the great flaming eye of the FTC may turn upon companies randomly deciding to leave customers with a two-year-old bricked device, like the Spotify car thing, which isn't really bricked, but you can do stuff with it, but you get the point. Also the flaming eye, it's good flames in this case. What if Sauron was good? You're looking, stop looking at your phone. According to Lucas Gutterman, one of the campaign directors that prompted the FTC's statement, when we don't own what we buy, everything becomes disposable. Products keep dying and we keep buying, which is way too poetic coming from an organization called the Public Interest Research Group. Analysts dropping hot bars. File the report. <laughs> Microsoft says it would love to launch the Xbox Game Store that Xbox President Sarah Bond promised would allow players to purchase and play games directly from the Xbox app on Android. But despite the features being built and ready to go, Xbox is currently unable to launch them. The quiet part Sarah isn't saying out loud is they're unable to launch the features on the Xbox app in the Play Store without paying Google 30% of every transaction. They could launch the features at any time. I mean, it's kind of like saying I'm unable to host these videos wearing pants. I just choose to do it this way. Don't pan the camera down. Everybody's suing Google and now Canada wants a piece of the action because that's right, say it with me. We're, we're just, just America America's with anxiety, anxiety issues. <laughs> The Great White North's Competition Bureau has sued Google over anti-competitive conduct in online advertising, which I think up here means some ad tech companies didn't get a participation trophy. Thinking, hey, we're on a roll. Canadian news publishers also filed suit against OpenAI for using Canadian news content to train ChatGPT, even though it's pretty much all local coverage of which moose is blocking which highway at any given time. And that's our content, bud. I did the wrong accent. Welcome to Canada. Hey, that's our content, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn has gotten its very own Pal World situation in the form of Light of Motiram, an open world survival crafting game from Tencent owned studio Polaris Quest that rips off Horizon's post-apocalyptic world full of mechanical beasts to an offensive degree. But we're talking about a game that's bold enough to take a second in the middle of its frankly beautiful seven minute announcement trailer to ask, why can't human beings kill God? It's real. <laughs> Even bolder, in addition to PC, iOS, and Android, the game is launching on Horizon's home turf, the PS5. Before you know it, there'll be a Lego game to match. And look at this wacky new flying taxi concept called The Blackbird from a company called Cyclotech, which uses technology called Voith Schneider propellers, spinning circular arrays of rotors to generate lift and thrust. That's not sciencey. Take my money. <laughs> the propeller design is often used on tugboats and ferries, but no one's thought to use it for aircraft until these guys did, which I think is a great sign. Now come back on Monday for more tech news and I might talk about this fun headline, scientists turn a quantum computer into a time crystal that never stops. You wanna know what that's about, don't you? Wait, don't Google it, just, just, just wait.